everyone, it's CS Gilmore here. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. So, got a lot of little things to take care of in town right now. I've got the guild. Make no mistake, we will face ever greater threats. Our soldiers must be ready. Basically, just it allows me to train skills. And the bellows blast once again. The forge stands ready to make weapons of war. Now this is the one I really want, the blacksmith. Unfortunately I don't have enough heirlooms to upgrade it so that I can get better weapons and armor. Um, yeah, I'm stuck with the basics right now, so that kind of sucks. Hopefully I'll be able to fix that. Um, I did remember I got a couple items I haven't equipped. Okay, I can't do anything with this one because I don't have a leper. Dodge stone though, that I can use. Uh, let's put it on you. Your dodge sucks. Eh, your speed sucks too. So, okay, that's not much of a difference really. And really is better, so, okay, I'll go with that. At least he can dodge a little bit now. I'm going to the stagecoach. Okay, another highwayman. That looks pretty good. I'll go with that. And I'm just being a bit slow. I'm not sure. Uh, something I did do. I turned the volume down a little bit. Righteous traits for a rogue. Just all around on various things. Uh, the ancestors still a bit loud. I didn't want to cut him off entirely in case it affected during like cutscenes or not. Other things though, I turn the music down, that way hopefully you'll be able to hear me a little better, be able to enjoy that more. You got an idea of what the game sounds like now. Alright, Seeker Man at Arms. Uh, da, 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 buffs, buffs. Uh, what about you, what do you have? the difference is that there okay oh, no, I kind of like this guy I'll go with him give him a shot more few the raw strength of youth may be spent but his eyes hold the secrets of a hundred campaigns now I do need to give a few people a rest let's see can I upgrade anything in here I do have enough to upgrade these, so I'll do that, that'll reduce the cost, oh, no, not the cost, that'll increase stress recovery, this will reduce the cost, got enough to a afford that, a robe. so you with go the here, use that, Madness. dismiss, uh, I should do that, hope, increase however stress recovery, is never without worth. I've got enough gold to afford that. Yeah, alright. Um, I think that's it for in town right now, so let's embark on a quest. Hmm, I need to continue here in order to build up to the first boss. But, uh, do I want to go there as well? Uh, let's see. What is it offering? Antiquarian? I'm not sure who what the antiquarian is. Uh, what are the items we have? Sorry, this is taking so long. Okay, that and that. That's for that. Let's go with just a short one into this for now. Nothing major, just hopefully progress the bar and break in some of these new characters. Uh, where do you fit best? Okay, you're more of a to the front type. So, I'll put you here. Come at... You're more of a towards the back, but you can move up. Same with you, but you can actually work from the very front. 
fairly well also. And... Oh, to put, bring a healer. Nah, it's a short dungeon, so I'll bring... I'll bring Gifford. Gifford. I don't know. That's a funny name. And there we go. Bring a shovel. Bring some holy water, because those are usually useful. Bring six torches. Twelve food. And yeah, hopefully that'll be everything I need. I want to not spend a ton of gold, because... Hopefully I'll get some useful uh, the deed heirlooms so that I can upgrade the blacksmith and get some actual weapons and armor to improve my characters. But we'll see what comes. Uh, let's see. I mentioned I cut, cut down the volume. What else? What else? Anything else interesting going on? Starting to get further into this now. Yeah, you see how the 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 wield has. I'm probably not pronouncing that right. Anyway, that's opened up, and I'll try to get there in the next episode. Um, so the other guys should, should start opening up as well. Familiar. Now, Oren. Ah, this one's gonna be a pain for just being spread out. Uh, left first. Off into the darkness. Away. Surprisingly, this place hasn't like collapsed considering how many support beams are crashed here. Okay, so these are interesting. Hey, did I put you to? Did I not? How'd you end up so stressed? Oh well. Uh, I think if I use this, it helps and should help with the stress. I thought I put everyone who had stress into rest, but. Guess not. Ah, I need to pay more attention. Maybe I forgot to click a button. Anyhow, moving on. Click on the door. Is my mouse not working? Okay. Ah, a lot of crossbowmen. Ah, let's do this. I'll give him repost. You do it. I'll send this guy in the back. You repost. You do this to hopefully hit them both with blight. Yes, blight for everyone. Hooray, plague! That's what I was hoping for. The slow death. Good. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. And you have a repost ability too. Let's use that. See how that works. On him. Since he hasn't moved yet, he'll probably try to attack you soon. Marks him, so I think that means the enemies are more likely to attack him. Precision and power. More damage from some attacks. Yeah, so they're more likely to attack him. He gets a little more damage possibly, but hey, that's how it works sometimes. Him again, if you can. All right, he's got six hit points, so he's dead next turn. I want you to hit him again. You hit him. Yeah, I'm liking this combination. And you can. This guy does a lot of buffs for your characters. Like you can do this, dodge and speed up. Do that on yourself, about. I can't remember if it affects everyone. Oh, okay, sweet. Yeah, so it hits everyone in the party. So everyone gets buffed. That's why the the men-at-arms are useful, because they can do a lot to really help the whole party out. As Excellent. Falls, I'm liking giving reposts to a bunch of my characters, because they're just doing a ton of damage now. Excellent. Even when they get dodged, them no quarter. they can still hit back, so that's really good. I am liking that. 
Awesome rubies. Eh, those aren't worth so much, but the rubies are. Got some heirlooms. Good. What's this? Slightly ajar. Poke in there. Hidden treasures. If or only heirlooms. treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Explore 90% of rooms. Okay, so this is gonna take a little while probably. Oh, that was a good scout. So a lot. Okay. I know there's a battle in this next one. First, what's outside here? Books! I want to know why books are just lying all over the place. You know? It's kind of strange. Unsettling passage! You're weak, man. Suck it up! What in the world could be so unsettling that reading about it would stress you out? Well, okay, that's probably the case. I don't know if I want to give that much brain power, so... Uh, moving on. Stab you. I'll bother you at first. Let's see. Uh, okay, I don't want to dislocate him from being able to do anything, so I'll do that instead. I don't know why in the world that would be tempting. Doesn't look tasty at all. Good. You blight them. Yes. It's working really well. Stressful incantation. forward. Do this. That'll give my guys a lot of it. Uh, can't talk apparently. That'll give them a much better advantage, especially with the repost ability here. Continually Excellent. Destroy them all. So, blight them again, so hopefully they'll both die on their turn. Yeah, I think this one's toast. This one might be, I'm not sure. See, do that. I don't know if that affects everyone too or not. Looks like it does. Awesome. So, lots of buffs for my guys. Unfortunately, he's getting pretty stressed out, so he'll probably need a break after this dungeon. And finish. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Awesome. So these two battles are going really well Seize this so momentum. far. So Push on hopefully that means my characters will make it through this dungeon without issue. Okay, next two rooms are empty, but I'll want to explore them anyway just because I have to in order to meet the requirements for the quest. Even the cold stone seems yes, use the preventing passage. Good. So we'll find something interesting up here with these items in the halls. More heirlooms. Good. Not the ones I need, though. I need deeds. I don't need these crests. Busts? Okay, they get used. Portraits are kind of rare, but they also take up a lot of room to carry. And go here. That contains loot. Alright. You know, it'll stress my guys out less if I have them go backwards a little bit. Like, not a ton. A little bit less. So, I'm not gonna go into that room. I know it's empty. I only need to go to 90% of the room, so I'll start heading back now. That way I can cut down time here for you guys. And, you know, just not waste time in general, because I just got nothing to gain from going to an empty room. Especially when there's nothing cool in the hallways. So, fortunately, I do have to go one room at a time, and there is no run button, so this is as fast as they walk. And apparently, they wanted to stop for a meal. Yes, this is a perfect place for a picnic. Dark, depressing, very gothic. Uh, cobwebs, price. Some giant spiders around here somewhere. Oh, one more. Okay, 
go, go, go. And you can't use items twice, even like ones like that, where you think you'd be able to, because why not? It's kind of just there. It's not like I, it's necessary tr necessarily just treasure you can get out of these things, you'd think. Uh, my torch is low, I'm about to go into a fight. No camping this one, it's a short dungeon. A madman. And surprised. Awesome. It's them surprised, not me. Though I notice they don't get all twirled out of shape when they get surprised. Only my guys do. Uh, no, don't use that. Use this. Shoot. Okay, you'll use this. That way the guy, he can use it next turn. Awesome, that was a good hit. And if I blight him, I might kill him next turn. So I'll stop him from raising stress levels. This is going really well right now. Probably means something's going to go horribly wrong in about three turns. That should be my estimation. This guy does have accusation. And he does have another ability, I believe, that hits the whole party. Or a large or a portion of the party, at least. Okay. Hopefully, I'm coming through clear here. My headset's not in the best condition. But, only so much I can do. Maybe I'll get a better one at some point. Definitely should get... If I got a better speaker, that would probably help. Uh, it doesn't matter so much if I can hear all that well, which I do have trouble with because uh, sometimes this headset doesn't like to hear in one ear. Just so the cords are loose, I guess. And... Oh, there's that. That, that sucks. A lot of these people are going to need stress relief or to just get given a rest in some form or another. I forgot you had the stun ability. Hit him. He doesn't die this turn, at least. He won't hit me. Again. You. Hit him. Now, you'd think that would be more effective, especially against the skeleton, because, you know, crushing its bones. But. Wait. Did I mess that up earlier? I did. I can put that all out of order. I've got to pay more attention. Ah, that's probably because I forgot to put him back into the front earlier, after he first got moved out. And so... No, wait. Yeah, that's what happened. I, I messed up with some of that. Ah, that was my bad. Um... Yeah, might as well try to stun him again. Probably won't work because he's got his buff. But, it does bring him to the front because it gets rid of the body. So... You do that, as well. And you do that. A decisive Excellent. Bully. Oh, they were carrying a lot of gold on them. This expedition at That's least nice. promises success. Okay, now this time I'm gonna remember. Move you forward. There. That should really fix things up. for this dungeon. I imagine there's a lot of them. Ooh, different one. Not about these guys, maggots. I think they have a large stun ability or something, and they're also immune to stun. But they also break easily. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this guy first, so he's got much higher dodge, and I believe he can, can give blight. Oh good, he resisted. Awesome! That saves me some trouble. Oh, what to do, what to do. Do 
that. I'll kill him next turn. Excellent. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Oh good, I did stun him. And he got the repost kill. Oh yeah, yeah I didn't stun him. It just took a while to run through all the stats effective adjustments. So. Oh, and might stun him. Likely. No, he resisted twice in a row. Awesome. And finish you. <coughs> Sorry. That just leaves the spider who's probably going to die in a second. I'm sorry this is going so slow with I don't know, it seems like it's a little slower than normal. Not sure why. Computer being my computer. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. All right, not really running into much new here, but uh, my price. Nah, I'm gonna up this. I can do with a little less treasure and just risk not smashing my party into the ground at the last minute. Both stress inducers. Hit you. Good. Not so good. I realize I haven't uh, gotten to show you guys what happens when they hit a full stress bar yet. But I kind of don't want to just let that happen. It's bound to happen eventually though, so it's such a common thing. It's, it's really, I'm kind of surprised it hasn't happened yet. Uh, you don't have much for good abilities from this angle. Uh, da, da, da. Just the oh, that was better than I thought it was going to be. You give everyone some better dodge. Good, good. Doesn't seem to have done him much good for having better dodge. Him next. Okay, this attack does seem to do some dis decent damage. Plague both of them, so hopefully they'll die next turn. Ah, she resisted. May not kill her. Don't know. Uh, okay, 8 damage. Not only 4 health. 4 health, 4 damage. Okay, so they're both dead, so I might as well just use repost. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. Alright. I guess I'll just move you back up to the front now. He's toast either way, so don't really need him to do anything. Yeah, just things up a, get, a bit, I guess. Get a lot of gold in this one. I'm kind of surprised considering Be wary. Not I'm running on a low torch or anything, so I'm kind of surprised I'm making this fall. much for treasure. Ah, well. Plate. Well, I've got a couple anti venoms with me. Might as well use it. Almost done with this dungeon and this episode. I feel like I gotta remember to start timing these. So, since I'm more doing these by how far I get rather than time itself. I guess it doesn't matter too much. I, like to, I don't like to leave something, like cut off right in the middle of a dungeon on for one of these uh, episodes. But 
once we get, start doing one of the longer dungeons more often, I'm probably gonna have to. Just because. Like. I don't know, I think there's dungeons that are larger than any that I've done so far. Like large dungeons, which probably have two campouts or something with them. Dull and uninteresting. Ugh, boring books. Instead of the interesting ones. Wow, this hallway has a lot of traps. Okay. I've got spare food, so. Oh. His resolve is tested, and now he's paranoid. So, he did not give virtue. The walls close in. The shadows whisper <laughs> of conspiracy. So, paranoid basically. Afflicted. When heroes can't take the stress anymore, they become afflicted. This manifests in different behaviors and stat changes. Afflictions last until you send them to treatment in town. Unless you can reduce their stress to zero during the quest. I don't remember that being a thing before. But it's unlikely I'm going to reduce his stress to zero anytime soon. So, let's see. Paranoid. Can I get a little bit more on that? Uh, okay, it's not going to give me more information, apparently. So he's anyway. He, chances are he'll like disobey orders, maybe do things on his own. I turn instead of my giving him, telling him what to do, and uh, I'm gonna continue adventuring just a little bit longer because I want to see what's in this last room. Oh, I'm in the last last room. Sorry. Okay, so that's it for this quest. Go ahead back to town. The shifted corridors and sloped walls of our ancestors are beginning to feel familiar. Okay, that's a really good item. Even if it's not great, it only adds a little bit. But considering stress is a major issue in this game, that could help a lot. I wish I had gotten some of these. I still can't use the blacksmith. And what new traits did you get? Fear of Eldritch. Natural swings of our accuracy. That's nice. Doesn't do as much damage if he's hurt. Less stress. Good. Don't let him gamble. Got it. All in all, not bad. That was a pretty good dungeon. I got a lot of gold, which means I'll be able to afford a lot of stuff. Stress relief. Finally upgrading equipment when I get some more uh, deeds to upgrade the Lord of everything. This place before the crows and rats made it their domain. Oh, this is different. Abby has used mediation to achieve resistance to the forces of the material world. New quirk, balanced. Excellent. So I, as that's cool. She got a new positive quirk from her stress relief. More move resist. Everyone made it back. Yep, that's okay. This is just going back from the last week's last episode stuff. Okay, sanitarium's open now. I'll show you that real quick. Sanitarium treatment. The sanitarium is most often used to remove negative quirks and treat diseases, but you can also use it to reinforce a positive quirk, which will lock it into place and prevent new positive quirks from displacing it. You can lock a maximum of three po three quirks per hero. Three positive quirks per hero. Awesome. Ah, so the question is, do I need to treat you to get rid of that paranoia? I think I do. But first I'm going to treat him for the stress. Just because that will be problematic. So, let's see, I'll have you go here. There is nothing outside of myself, and nothing within. That sounds bleak. Um... You're in the chapel. There shouldn't be anything terrible there. You can't do anything. Here, okay. Did I just do something that I'm gonna regret with you? Only meditate for stress relief. Is meditation available? Or did I just fill that? Oh, no, the caretaker's using that. So, 
he'll have to go without stress relief this turn just because you're in the way. Caretaker just is annoying like that, but oh well. Uh, who should I give stress relief to? Otherwise, I should probably do something with you. I should let you gamble. Can you do anything else? Wait, you can't gamble anyway. You're a known cheat. So that's really just that's cool. Have that because that means he can't like he can't gamble anyway. So okay, that works. And I will upgrade this to increase stress. All recovery. manner of diversion and dalliance there. await those who cross the threshold with coin in hand. All right, I'll take care of hiring heroes this go right now too. Uh, okay, Arbalist. They're good from the back, as you might guess. Suppressed fire. Hmm, not familiar with that ability. It's a knockback one. Bandage. Sniper shot. So she's not good about heating the first row, except for with the knockback ability. But I'll get her. Add her to the group. Shoot, bandage, and pillage. The dancing steps of war. And I need to add. I've got enough for that. Do I want to? Well, what's the Crusader's abilities? I don't really want his abilities because I'd have to train him on stuff that I find more useful. So I won't hire him. And. Uh, Bounty Hunter. Good for the front. I kind of do want to hire him. So, I'm going to want to do it eventually anyway. So, Word is upgrade traveling. that. Ambition is stirring in distant you. cities. We can use okay. this. Okay, so that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Um, hit subscribe, hit the like button, come back for more videos, and yeah. Till next time. Bye.